Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mama in the fucking shit! At the time, when I was in my early 20s, that's when I, when I was 21, I started doing comedy. The first time, uh, I, when I, on my 21st birthday, I ran down to a comedy club because they wouldn't let me in when I was 17. Really? Yeah. And so um, my dad hears about this comedy shit, and he has no use for it at all. <laughs> so my uncle tells me, now I'm doing stand-up, and I'm getting a lot of attention. Like, I'm doing TV shows and shit, and it's moving really well. And your dad's like, no, nah. nah, fuck that. You need a job. So my uncle says, well, I can get him a job at the jail. And I go down there and they give me the job. Now, it's a big process you got to go through. I get the job. And the first thing is this that like Cook County, Cook County, the largest single site detention facility in the United States of America. A horrifying place. You would think you would think. And I was afraid when I got there. But as I was there. This was during the time where the crime bill was in full effect. Uh-huh. So the amount of people in the jail expanded drastically. Mm. And the buildings, they started building more buildings and shit. And, um, and when I got there, it was really amazing. It was really funny. The training was scary as hell. It was like, you guys are no longer black. You're no longer white. You're now blue. And we are your family. Ooh. And I believe guards. that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And I walked into the first living unit like officers walk and I opened up the door and I looked in and I knew half the people on the tier. <laughs> you did? I was like, <laughs> I was wondering where the fuck y'all been. Because, <laughs> you know, it's no announcement when you go to jail. You yeah. just go. You, you just go. Nobody yeah. I see you anymore. That's why you don't throw a party. Like no, a it's just done. You're right. And so then once I got in there. They were doing some new shit in the building that I worked in. It's called Division 11. Brand new building. Looked like a train station. Yeah. And and they were trying some new shit called direct contact, which is exactly what the fuck. It's just like we sitting here. You sit there with the inmates. There's oh no monitor area. You just sit there. This in is a there. new policy. Brand new building. Brand new situation. And so they would get mad at me like, um, Officer Hines, you do not need to be in there with them inmates playing cards and dominoes and shit. <laughs> and I was like, man, this my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it did actually happen. Like, I'm sitting there playing dominoes. They was like, why are you in there playing dominoes? I'm like, that's my cousin. That's what you like to do. I'm here. I'm, you know. I'm doing direct contact, man. Man, I'm doing what you asked me to do, <laughs> right? And in any of my areas that I worked in, there was never any fights and riots. What? And really? Never. Because I'm in there fucking with them. Like, we in there talking shit all day. I'm in there singing. And I could not. Um, you know what was, was amazing? How generous these guys were. Really? Maximum security inmates do not play around. Either they're going to kill you or they're not. And most of the time, they're not. You know what I mean? So yeah. you go in there. The other thing that was really amazing is Wait, wait. When, why won't they? Why won't they? Why won't they kill you, Maximum? You think that, Because you got to be here every day. And if you oh. do something to somebody, they're going to add more time to your time. That's another case you got to gotcha, fight. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So you got to really be angry. Yeah. And then when you go in there and they be fighting, if they, if they are actually fighting, um, when you open the door, they stop. Mm. Because they don't really want to fight. And fighting takes a lot of effort. Yeah. yeah. So they tired as hell waiting on you to get in there. Like, yeah. they Would want you, you come on? Hurry up. Yeah. yeah. They want to they want to quit. Now sorry, I interrupted you. said and another thing. Well, the, the, not only were they generous to each other. They were fairly generous to me. Like I, when I worked in a job, I was fairly depressed cuz I didn't want to be there. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Yeah. So I would sleep a lot at work. <laughs> so I'd be sleeping and somebody would come and knock on the desk cuz supervisor come like, "Hey, get your black ass up. They finna come in." <laughs> Them people coming in. And this would be inmates. Inmates. Wait, wait. Hilarious. Inmates. And the other thing they would do, they would cook. Okay, so. I love yes, prison. I talked, love that. You said Danny Brown, uh, the Detroit-based rapper, great guy, um, came in here. He told us about <laughs> making food, cooking in jail. And he's like, I kind of miss some of those things. Man, <laughs> some of that shit. I, okay, so here's the thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take anything from anybody, not because <laughs> I cared about that. I just know they didn't have much. Yeah. yeah. So I can go outside and get a sandwich, you dig? But I'm not. And, and there's all types of people. So there's always some slick dude because they feel you nice enough will ask you to bring drugs. or bring, And they don't ask you directly, could you bring me some bud or bring me yeah. some cocaine? Yeah. But well, they ask you for some salt, right? Uh. So you bring them some salt. Then they're going to ask you to bring something else, uh. some ketchup. You bring some ketchup. And then they ask you, hey, uh, since you brought me the salt and the ketchup, how about you bring me blah, blah? Yeah. And you be like, man, fuck that. Like, well, I still got the container from the salt and the oh. ketchup. Oh. 
So that's how they get you to do shit. But shit, I'm from the hood. I ain't bringing your punk ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We can sit here and kick it all day, but I'm not bringing you anything. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, like the, the things that they would. Okay. So, if in, in a cell, there's two benches. Yeah. And there's a stainless steel table. And they give these guys milk all the time. So, the milk works as, like, the, the, the burning part. So, you, hope, hope, you, you light up the milk carton and it burns very slowly. Oh. You put it under the table, and now the table is the griddle. Yeah, man. Genius. And so, like, you come and you're like, damn, somebody cooking up some shit. So they take the <laughs> lousy breakfast, the lousy lunch, they add them up, and then they, they cook the eggs and the and the dumbass bologna. And, and all. I mean, it is amazing. And it's toasted, and look, it looks like some shit Ingenuity, that you can get man. in a, in a yeah. restaurant. Wow. And uh, by the way, you're the only guy. That I've ever heard, like, tell a story about Joe where you're like, people are nice. Yeah. Everybody's cool. And yeah. I, can I tell you why I think that happened? I think it's because of you. I don't think that that yeah. has anything to do with that jail or the inmates. I think they just like you. You're this oh, man, funny, really charismatic, nice, nice guy. And that happened to you. That didn't. I guarantee you if I asked the other guards, like, so was it great? They'd be like. Fuck that. <laughs> Those guys suck. <laughs> like, they're not going to be like, yeah, they were great. They woke me up with supervisor. They did that to you. Because yeah. I'd be in the jail sitting at the desk, knock the hell out. And, yeah. Hey, man, wake up. Them people come out. Oh, I God. mean, <laughs> the only, like I talked to two, I know two people out here who did time downtown at Twin Towers, L.A. County. Mm. The worst stories I have ever heard in my life. I mean, they're don't get me terrible. wrong. Terrible. The conditions are fucked up because at the time it was overcrowded. Yeah. So they had people sleeping on the floor and yeah. all types of stuff. It's not. That um, is so fucking. Can you imagine? Like you're not only you're in jail and they're like you sleep on the floor. Yeah. Man. You sleeping on the floor and then people take shit from each other. They, if yeah. you if you let them, I just wouldn't allow it. Like I'm if I'm sitting here with you, I'm not ab about to let you take somebody's food. Yeah. What I will do is get more food up here. Now that makes you an unpopular officer with the administration. Mm. Like when they, if you got 44 inmates and you ask for, you know, 48, 50 lunches, they get like, why you need all these extra lunches or whatever? I'm like, this shit costs you nothing. Send yeah. me the goddamn lunches and I will order 10 extra lunches. Yeah. So now with the other officers, I'm not as popular because why are you wasting food? Like they would defend shit that to me mean, meant nothing to me. Right. Um, guys make wine out of toilet oranges and wine. shit. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of shit you can do with a toilet, like a <laughs> ton of shit. It could be like your washing machine. It could be a telephone. That one was in the documentary that um that got real popular on Netflix last year, which was um was it on Netflix or was it on? T I was on. I forget what it was. I remember right? what you're saying. Right where they um they were using like the toilet paper cones and talking to each other and it was a mm -hmm. this was a um what's it called a unit uh, a male female facility mm. so jailbirds jailbirds yes was that on what was that a and e or, or was it on netflix it was on netflix, netflix. well danny talked and about they, yelling in, into the toilet you know, but too, these people right? were like mm -hmm. having uh this was like romance shit where like they were <laughs> They're like, I miss you, girl. And then like she, <laughs> she would yell back. I sound gangster. Uh, miss you, girl. Miss you, girl. <laughs> and then, then they had the notes on the strings, and they were doing yeah. it through the entire. But then you had to have people help you. Like, hey man, don't flush right now. So it could, like somebody else would help you. <laughs> oh yeah. Get that message down to someone. They pull the whole string to read a, a love letter on a. And you're like, Jesus Christ, this is all done through the toilets man amazing shit happens with like it, you could do you could, it's a refrigerator true yeah you keep things cool in the toilet um whoa you could hide knives and shit in the toilet yeah. what about then, that whole shit piss well that's mess. in the day room you know you uh, do that in the day room in the day oh, room yeah. what do you mean okay so like um in their cells aligning the walls Mm -hmm. Right. But then in the day room, the day room is where you open up the cells, you make them all come out and mm -hmm. they sit and watch TV. Now, this is an example of the type of shit that what I'm what I'm saying, like the way that you express yourself is one way. But what you think about is something different. Like you, you only can speak the way you know how to speak. So I'm come I come in the day room and where I worked, it was a big, huge room. 
and there's two TVs, right? Mm -hmm. So all the inmates are watching like Maury or some bullshit on one TV. Mm -hmm. And this other cat is watching the TV by itself and he's watching some jungle shit like, you know, tropical wild kingdom or some shit. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out like, who is this dude that's only watching TV by itself? (laughs) And why is he, you know, so I go out to talk to him and shit. So I sit down next to him and he goes, yeah, man, you know, these motherfuckers say, that the lion is the king of the jungle? Nah, man, it's the tiger. Cause the most a lion gonna weigh is a couple hundred pounds. <laughs> tiger weigh a thousand pounds. He's like, the only thing that make the lion cold is he make them bitches go yeah. get his food. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like he's That's analyzing right. the yeah. nature he's, documentary. He has come up with this is yes. how this shit is, and this is why I like this animal yes. more. But I'm like, what is your life experience that the female of our gender, you know, the female gender is called a bitch yeah. as yeah. opposed to female? Yeah. <laughs> Make them bitches go. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Julia. Did you like that highlight? Why not watch a whole episode or look at other highlights here? Or you can subscribe right here so you know when the... You dumb broad. What? What's... I did that right. I know I did. Did I do that right?